Hey everybody, this is session four of our series, Worship More Than a Song. Worship is about so much more than music and singing. It's about bowing our knees before God. In the Old Testament, there's a, there's a phrase that God uses to describe the Israelites fairly often. That phrase is stiff-necked. He says, you are a stiff-necked people. What exactly does that mean? Well, imagine that somebody had their hand on the back of your head and they were trying to push your head down so that you would bow in humility and in respect. And then imagine that you didn't want to do that. What would you do? You would stiffen the muscles of your neck so that your head wouldn't bow. So when God calls the Israelites stiff-necked, that was an indictment on their pride. It was an indictment on their stubbornness and on their lack of humility. But before we're too hard on the Israelites, we should probably do a little bit of self-reflecting. Because if we're honest, all of us have a little bit of a stiff-necked streak inside of us. See, in our culture, we often don't like the idea of bowing to anyone. We often see humility as, as a weakness. But the reality is, humility is the garden in which our faith grows. If we don't have the humility to acknowledge our sin, then how can we receive God's forgiveness for that sin? If we don't have the humility to admit that we don't have all the answers, then how can we learn to trust and depend on Him? And if we don't have the humility to surrender to God and to bow to His plans and His purposes for our lives, then we will never experience the full, whole life that God wants to give us. So bowing our knees in worship, it's ultimately about humbling ourselves before God. See, we're talking about more than physically bowing, a, a physical posture with our knees to the ground. We're talking about having the humility to say, God, you're God, and I'm not. So I'm going to live life your way, not mine. That is bowing before God. So remember, true worship ultimately has really nothing to do with music. It has everything to do with our hearts. We lift our hands and surrender to Him and His purposes for our lives. We offer our entire lives to Him and for His glory, holding nothing back. We pour our hearts out to Him in praise, in honest repentance, and in our requests. And finally, we bow our knees before Him in complete humility and deference to Him. That is how we worship our great God and King. And please know, He deserves every ounce of our praise and our worship.